everybody. Uh, this is Zach and I, and this is our status update for Chronicle. Uh, if you don't remember, Chronicle is an Android PC application pair we're creating that allows you to record scheduled events, leave tags on these events, upload them to your computer, and later search for these events based on the tags you left. Therefore, uh, making searches for specific topics a lot easier. So this is the basic block diagram. You know, you have an Android app, PC app, they synchronize with each other. You know, the PC app does all that, and the Android app is able to like record and to, you know synchronize with the PC app, which is like a master of everything. So you can go and search for it and stuff. You know, very simple. So Bobby was working on the Android, so he'll give you his status updates. Uh, so at first we built the schedule into the Android part, but after implementing it, we kind of wondered why we did that in the first place since we're going to be synchronizing the schedule from the PC to the Android uh, and you don't really need to see that like you know next week you have an event you need to record because it's not necessarily pertinent to your daily recording needs so we got rid of that uh, we yeah we're still very concerned about memory problems uh, I found out a, a two hour video actually takes about six gigabytes on my phone and I don't know if you guys watched the Arcos videos that I recorded for you guys, but they're not very good quality. Uh, so we'll figure that out as the time comes. And we need more database to like this. I don't know what that means. I actually put it in a SQLite database to store all the files that you've, you've saved. And then it populates a menu on the front of the, uh, on the first page of the app so you can select your events that you've already recorded view the tags, and then view the video if you feel like it. So yeah, uh, as Bob says, we have the capability of recording video, of leaving tags while you're recording the video, and it leaves a chronological tag in a text file. I don't know if a text file is the greatest place to store it, maybe you guys can have advice on that. And we've implemented an industry. Uh, in the future, we actually need to figure out the TCP IP connection. Uh, we tried, but have not found a very good solution thus far. And video archiving comes with that pretty much, and calendar synchronization. We plan on having a SQLite database sent to the phone that contains all the calendar information, but I don't know if that's the best response either. So, advice would be helpful on that as well. So I worked on the PC part of the application, and I was originally developing with PyQt, and I realized that uh, you know the speed and functionality that came with PyQt just wasn't going to do it for you know what I wanted to to do with it. So I just decided to go with Qt4. Um, there was a custom library that has been built called QXT that has a bunch of pre-implemented Qt classes, specifically one called. QXT schedule view, which allows for an easy implementation of a, basically exactly what I want to do, a schedule layout. Um, and then I switched over to development platforms uh, just to make it easier to work with. Uh, the QXT library uh, works well with Linux and not so well on Windows. So I had some issues switching over uh, just to try to get libraries to work and libraries not to work. Um, uh, making headway, you know, we have the working QXT schedule view so we can see like a schedule. Um, we have a calendar class to synchronize data, you know, we'll have on the schedule view and so we can lay it out into a database and, or like a text file or whatever. And then I've looked into using Google's calendar API, but, um, you know, it's Google and I don't know if everybody has Google. Kind of can, you know, that's a pretty fair assumption, but not an assumption we want to make at this point. So um, it was just more research into the topic rather than you know, doing any work with it, but. Um, so the next phase, you know, I want to finalize the UI and get a, uh, a way to visualize what kind of files we've paired with these video files. So if you have like classroom notes or, you know, maybe an Android Mac tablet, you know, you have some file that you loaded from taking notes in class, you can load it with your class video. Um, you know, I want to build in the TCP IP connection pair and the synchronization with Android comes with that. Um, Further on, you know, add cloud support, maybe add some kind of LMS support where you can download and zip data files to the, you know, the calendar, so, yeah. Any questions?